Mohammed Zamar, German jihadist detained by Syrian Kurds. A Syrian-born German jihadist linked to the September 11, 2001 attackers has reportedly been detained by Kurdish fighters in northern Syria. A commander of the U.S.-backed Syrian Democratic Forces Alliance told the AFP news agency that Mohammed Haider Zamar was in custody and being questioned. The commander did not say whether Zamar was suspected of fighting for the Islamic State group, IS. The U.S.-led global coalition against IS said it could not confirm the report. The SDF has detained hundreds of foreign IS militants as it drives the jihadist group from tens of thousands of kilometers of northern and eastern Syria. The arrested militants are reportedly being held at camps near Raqqa, a city that served as the de facto capital of the IS Caliphate until it fell to the SDF in October. Zamar's detention was first reported on Tuesday by the German newspaper, Bild. The newspaper cited Kurdish sources as saying he was in a prison run by the Kurdish People's Protection Units, YPG, militia, which dominates the SDF. Zamar moved from Syria to Germany in 1971. By the late 1990s, he was a prominent Islamist in the German city of Hamburg. He is reported to have encouraged the lead 9-11 hijacker Mohammed Atta and other members of the Hamburg cell to participate in violent jihad, and convinced them to go to Afghanistan to attend an Al-Qaeda training camp, according to the 9-11 Commission report. There is no indication however that Zamar was aware of the plot to attack the U.S. The German authorities investigated Zamar after 9-11 on suspicion that he had supported a terrorist organization, but he was released and left the country. In December 2001, he was seized in Morocco and transferred to Syria, apparently as part of the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency's so-called Extraordinary Rendition Program. He handed over to Syrian intelligence agents, who allegedly tortured him in detention. The agents are reported to have allowed their U.S. and German counterparts to provide a list of questions to ask him and passed on the answers. In 2007, a Syrian court sentenced Zamar to 12 years in prison for four offenses, including membership of the outlawed Syrian Muslim Brotherhood organization. Six years later, after Syria had descended into civil war, he was released as part of a prisoner exchange between the Syrian government and the hardline Islamist rebel group, Awar al-Sham. It is not clear what happened to Zamar afterwards, but in early 2014 he was pictured attending a meeting between IS militants and Syrian tribal leaders. One unconfirmed report from late 2014 said he was sent to Egypt by his leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi to persuade a jihadist group operating in the Sinai Peninsula to swear allegiance to Baghdadi.